Hey everybody, this is Caesar with Small Engine Velocity coming at you with a video from the garage again. Yay, the garage. Weather has been uh, good and now I get to sit inside the garage and bake to death because Texas summer has now moved in and it is hot. Anyways, today's subject, engine vibration. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've been complaining about engine vibration for the longest time. And I think, actually I know, I know what it is now. <laughs> Now, this is probably something that everybody has uh, done on theirs or didn't neglect to put it on, I guess is what you could say about me. But I got a lot of feedback as to how of a much of a mistake that was. Anyway, you know what? Let's roll the intro and let's get right to it. Okay, so here's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm really not sure why it didn't dawn on me that because my exhaust didn't have a hanger, that it would it would do this. I mean, it is got a single connection point right here, and it's acting like a giant tuning fork and like vibrating as I hit butt bumps. And I didn't really think that it would amplify through the bike, but apparently it does. Uh, also, while recording a moto vlog that I never released, I lost another header bolt down here. So I posted online talking about how I don't have a hanger. See, no hanger, I don't see anything back here, nothing at all. And uh, I got a lot of feedback like, you're an idiot, or not, not necessarily you're an idiot, but like, you know, you really need to do that because that's super important. So here is what uh, I spent a while making. Uh, so I have this piece that I made right here. Uh, I originally made it with, I, I got the original shape from the, uh, from using some uh, TIG wire and shaping it and then basically welding this for the frame and then here up at the top. So this is a single mount or a single point of mount on here. For the exhaust but the way it's shaped it's a triangle one one point two points three points so it should stay relatively rigid here but here <laughs> we're not welders so i mean we use the tig welder because i mean the only way to learn how to use it better is to use it more right and uh i mean it's on there right but i'm gonna do some cleanup on it really quick and then we're gonna mount it on now notice Whenever I punch this thing, no wonder it vibrated. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and uh, try to kind of clean this up with a little bit of the rotary tool. So it, it grinded okay. I'm super sweaty, but I grinded it and it looks okay. I mean, I don't know why I'm grinding it because you can't see it. So uh, let's go ahead and put this on. <laughs> So the top is in, that nut's a little too long and a little bit too close to my paint or to my powder coat than I want it to be, but it'll work. It's pretty, it's pretty solid now. And when I say about three points, one, two, three, build a triangle. There's rigidity in that. Um, I don't know if you can see in there, you can see it here the long tube goes into this and connects to the body. This this, to this right here needs to be longer 
but I don't have a longer one right now. So there's the hanger that we've been needing to put on for a long time and I didn't really need to know it. Then I posted online, like I said before, to my subscribers saying that, oh, I think I figured it out. The vibration is because I don't have a hanger and they're all, I th maybe I can post some clips down here of what they said, but it was more or less, uh, yeah, your exhaust should have cracked uh, or some other comment about it. Um, anyways, you know, my brother wants to start making exhausts. So a hanger is an integral part of making an exhaust now for a GY6. Uh, motor uh, So hopefully, you know, I'll gather some information out of this learning process on here uh, And see what it's like. I also heard that running a lightened flywheel Which by the way, I haven't haven't installed yet a lightened GY6 flywheel will also help reduce vibration Help with acceleration and top end by reducing spinning mass in your motor. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into the uh, GoPro helmet cam and we'll ride around for a little bit and then see what it feels like with the new hanger on here. Cause I'm telling you right now, it was vibrating to the point where like things were getting numb. Um, I'm hoping that's gone and I can do a long ride. Anyways, thanks. And I'll see you in the helmet cam right now. So the hanger is on and it feels like there's a lot less vibration. I still kind of feel some in my handlebars. I don't know where that's exactly coming from, but the vibration I felt in my seat is greatly reduced. So it was the hanger that was giving me all that trouble with the vibration and everything. Irritating, but you know, Sometimes you solve problems by figuring out, I don't know, whatever. All I know is that the exhaust hanger worked and it's better now. <laughs> so, what have we learned? We learned that if there's a part that comes in other people's bikes, then more than likely you should put it on yours too because it does serve a purpose for some reason. <laughs> Uh, it's nice to be able to ride around and and not have your stuff vibrate to death if you know what I mean I guess I guess I guess you could know what I mean but then I guess you might not know what I mean either but yeah so I guess now I know how to make a hanger so the next thing is to try to make a two-point hanger off of a GY6 and then after that, uh, see if I can integrate that knowledge into building a fender for the back of the ruckus. That would be kind of cool if I could build a fender. And then after I get the, hey, what's up? What's up? It's, it's, it's m m my little bike. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> I just raced the Harley. <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Oh, that was fun, but I didn't win for sure. And bumps. Ah, all right, so I got to test my new hanger and race a Harley out the line. And I don't think I did too bad for 158, 176. 171 cc
<laughs> Anyways, that was awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see everybody in the next video. Harley Rocket.